What is the mission of the church? Well, first we must understand that the church isn't only made up of the hierarchical structure, meaning the popes and the bishops and so on. The church is made up of everyone a part of the Christian family that is committed to loving and serving the Lord, no matter what age, race, or sex. No one is exempt. The mission of the church can be broken down into three main purposes. Number one, to provide the people of the church community with the hierarchical structure and order that will provide guidance and leadership. Number two, to provide the people of the church community with different ways to live out their personal callings to holiness and to give them a little push so they actually do live out those callings. And finally, number three, to preserve the Bible and to teach its many lessons to the whole entire world. Let's begin with the hierarchical structure of the church. The roles of people in the church resemble that of the apostles, a key group of Jesus' original followers. First on the list is the Pope, also known as the successor to Peter. He's the head of the Catholic Church. He's the leader of the spiritual center of the church in Rome, the leader of the colleague of bishops, and is Christ's human representative on earth to be a visible sign of God's presence in our world. Next we have bishops, who are a part of the colleague of bishops under the Pope. Bishops on behalf of the Pope have authority over their own diocese or collection of parishes. For example, we can look at the relationship between the Pope and his bishops and compare it to that of the President and his governors that help him lead over the many states, or in this case, the many dioceses. Under bishops there are priests. They govern over their certain parish and offer the faithful grace of the sacraments of baptism, reconciliation, anointing of the sick, matrimony, and confirmation and guidance counseling. And under the priests, we have deacons, derived from the Greek word diakonia, meaning service. Deacons lead Bible study, offer instruction to the youth and adults, participate in many volunteer social services, and often aid the priests in Mass. All of these hierarchical positions are linked together in an effort to be good examples and providers of God's presence on earth for the members of the church community. Next, we see that the variety of possibilities for people to live out their callings to holiness is a testimony to the work of the Holy Spirit in the church, calling people to different ways of living out the evangelical counsels. There are many ways to live out your personal calling to holiness. One of the most renowned ways is to join a religious third order, like that of the Franciscans, Dominicans, or Carmelites. Brother and sisters, that join these orders find and commit to their calling of holiness through prayer and study. They leave behind their material belongings and trade for a life of silent time, prayer, and a closer relationship to God. Other ways the church provides people with callings to holiness is to push them and remind them to show love, care, happiness, and a willingness to choose the right choices over the wrong choices at work with family or anywhere. Both of these different ways of life enable people to really live out their own callings to holiness in different ways that are right for them. Without the church there to push them, living out your calling to holiness would be very hard. And lastly, an important part of the mission of the church is to use the magisterium, meaning the Pope and the bishops and so on, to teach the Word of God to the whole world. Once the magisterium learns the Bible 
and is anointed in that way. They then teach it to the people of the church community. So the people of the church community can then teach it to the rest of the world. As we can see, there are many components that bring together the church and contribute to its individual mission. Without all of these components, the mission would be unclear. But after reading and studying all of this information, we can see what the true mission of the church really is. And that true mission is to provide a structure of leadership and guidance, to aid people in their own callings to holiness, and to provide the people of the church community with the instruction to teach it to the rest of our great big world.